The original first generation Xbox One console has been out in the market for a long time, and if yours isn't powering on anymore, I have a solution to get you back up and running again. The main problem is usually because of the power adapter. If it's plugged into the wall and there's no LED indicator lit up, then this is definitely the issue. A normal functioning power adapter has a glowing white LED right here. The only way around a broken Xbox power adapter is to replace it with something like this Vivfox ICH60 Xbox power supply and battery charger. So let's take a look at what comes in the box and I'll show you what makes this adapter a bit more special than the original. You'll notice that it has these extra parts that stick out and I'll talk more about that in a bit. This power adapter is designed for use only on the first generation console, especially because it uses this unique plug on the end. To get this set up, just plug in the AC power cord and then connect the other end to the back of the Xbox. When powered on, the orange and green LEDs will light up. At this point, your Xbox will be able to turn on again. But there's more to show you on this VivFox power adapter. It actually comes with two 2000 milliamp rechargeable batteries for your controllers. These batteries will replace your normal double A's and can stay inside your controller while charging. And because these are high capacity batteries, they stick out a bit from the back of the controller, but they won't get in the way when you're playing. You'll get around 16 to 20 hours of playtime using these. To recharge the batteries, just set the controller into the cradle. A red light means it's charging and the LED will turn green when it's done. Two controllers can be charged at the same time and it works great to keep your gaming area organized. For those of you who own the Elite controller, these batteries will work too. I only mention this because in the past I run into similar style batteries that won't fit into the Elite battery compartment. However, if you want to set the Elite controller into the charging cradle, you have to remove the bottom paddle lever first or it won't fit in correctly for charging. So if your first generation Xbox One is having problems powering up, then the VivFox power adapter is a great option to get you back up and gaming again. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.